Okay, this is adorable. How could you not like that? Mosquito review. All right, everyone, you're watching Scribbled Sim, so let's just jump right into it. Right now, basically, um, I'm reviewing the Mosquito Pack, and I'm looking at all the windows. Really, the build by mode doesn't have a ton, in my opinion. Um, but I am placing the windows, building this kind of loft building, and I mean, I've seen a lot of people use a lot of windows. I wanted an entire floor that was surrounded by windows, so that's what I did. The doors don't bother me too much, um, but I know a lot of people were saying that they kind of didn't fit with the windows. They wanted ones that were exactly like the windows, and I don't know. I like them. I still think they're okay. I mean, look at this. I love the idea of just the windows just being the walls, and this makes me very happy. Also, I like to pepper in some of the ones that have open panes. Not doing them on every one or like every other one like a pattern, but just like a couple here and there maybe. They adjust them throughout the day depending on the wind they want to flow through the airflow, etc. Um, I, I got the Moschino pack and I, I decided, of course, I had to let me speed through this floor plan, but I had to make a loft you just have to. I mean, there's plenty you can do with this pack other than that, but a loft is going to be the go-to for sure, especially with the photography. Um, I wanted to make this a little seating area for if people were coming by that were clients or that were waiting to meet with my freelance photographer, Sim, that's going to live here. And I just, I play with the swatches here because I'm not sure exactly what color scheme I want to go with exactly like right away. Um, I really love the houndstooth pattern on the sofa and the chair. I think they're beautiful. And you can also do a pink and white houndstooth, not just the black and white houndstooth. And I use the pink and white houndstooth downstairs, but I don't show you that in this video. But you can download this loft in the gallery. So I switch over to this backdrop or this wallpaper because I want to go with a lighter color scheme on the sofa and everything because I've seen a lot of the black and red done but I switched to this color scheme because it reminds me of dermatology from Grey's Anatomy if you don't get that reference I'm sorry but I really do like the color swatches here I think that it's the pack definitely encourages you to play with patterns and not necessarily do matchy-matchy all over the place. You've got that curved screen, this drop cloth kind of background for the photography stuff. Everyone's kind of been covering that. I feel like if you get the pack and you want to check out the photography options, that's the part that's going to be the one that's most interactive that you're going to have to just do for yourself to see how you feel about it. Um, and I think it's fun. It's just one of those things where it's like, I think that the build by stuff and the cast mode, a lot more people have been kind of ignoring the possibilities in a way. I switched this up. I did the houndstooth with that striped carpet. I love that striped carpet with the red border. I think it's gorgeous. I put two of those sculpture things I don't like it I go back and I change it to one there's these picture frames here they you can put photos that your sim take your sims take into those picture frames and it'll scroll through them on a timer and you can set the timer I did not know this at the time I thought those were the picture frames that you like dragged them into and they would stay stagnant um so later on um I play or when I um play with this myself I just took them all down and I put up pictures that my sim took but I arranged them in the similar fashion I put those magazine I really like the magazines that we have for clutter now I think that's really cute um, also I've noticed that when you do uh, the photography stuff you don't need need the lighting so much um, maybe one soft box but I definitely went overboard because I was like, I need a backlight and a fill light and a spotlight. And you really don't. You don't need that much. I use the same couch, but just in a different swatch or chair, I guess. There's three spots on that shelf. I think it's really cute. Um, 
It really kind of just adds a little extra oomph to the room. Yeah, those screen windows that were dividers, I like them, but I just didn't have a use for them, so I didn't really use them. <laughs> uh, yeah, I used the striped swatch again, but in the yellow and black, because I think it's really cute, and I think the yellow plays with the teal really well. I like the... I was just making like a little makeup corner over here. I think that... Here's the thing. I think that so many people look at the Moschino pack and they think I have to make a loft. I have to make, um, something for a photographer, but you really don't. I mean, yeah, that's what it was kind of made for. So that's what we're all doing with it. But I think that you can use it for a lot of different things, not just a photographer's loft. And I think that once you start realizing that it can be used for plenty, not just that. And while yes, like I said, a lot of it is for photographer specific, but many of the things can be used for tons of other stuff. And you're only limited by your creativity and what you think you can and can't do with it. And like I said, I love how it encourages you to play with patterns and things of the like. So what do you say we finish up by adding the speech bubble mirror that is adorable in the purple swatch and we switch over to cast because there's some fashion that we need to discuss. All right, so we have this shirt that's kind of like this clown thing. It's fine, not a big deal. Um, a lot of the fashion in here is just that. It's fashion. It's made to make you look at it and tilt your head sideways because it's weird. Also, can we talk about those shoes and how those shoes are going to be perfect for Realm of Magic if there are witches? Those are witch shoes. I don't care what you say. They're not Moschino. They're witch. But, um... That's a cute dress. I'm not going to lie. But it's high fashion stuff. It's At least I think it's supposed to be kind of high fashion stuff. So it's supposed to be stuff that kind of unsettles you while also being like unique and things like that. Um, I just think that we have to stop looking at it like we can only use Moschino stuff with Moschino stuff. Like, you can mix it with the stuff from base game you can mix it with the stuff from your other packs and you're gonna have cool interesting looks you just have to style them differently and I know that a lot of things look weird but you can find some stuff and I forgot about the combat boots they're adorable how could you not think that that's cute it's adorable and then I'm just going through different swatches and stuff here because again I'm playing with the outfits I'm looking at the looks there's those crazy jackets crazy stuff Oof, this look is cute though. Look at it. The combat boots, I'm telling you, make everything. I end up loving that look with that sweater. That sweater is just amazing. Alright, and then look at this. This, like, Michael Jackson look. It's stunning. I know it looks kind of like a band uniform, but look at it with the heels. Change her hair. Give her kind of this, like... I don't know, it just gives me like Lady Gaga vibes or something. Like, it's extra, but I love it. And then this sweatsuit with the sh tennis shoes from uh, Get Famous. We have the Moschino shirt that I use as a night shirt because I honestly don't like this shirt. I don't see it being used for anything other than a night shirt, in my game at least. I just don't care for it. But it's cute as a night shirt, for sure. Like, she bought it ten sizes too big because it was on, like, a sale rack because no one else would buy it. That sounds bad. But that happens to these kinds of shirts, and you know what I'm talking about. Look at this. I know it's weird. I had to do it. But I like those pants, and I think that we can work with it. So let's pair it with some stuff from the other packs. Let's do this. Okay, first of all, combat boots. We gotta put it back with the combat boots because those will look cute. Let's go for, like, this 90s... Like a 90s grunge look. I'm kind of upset the green and the red don't match the green and the red on the pants. But that's okay. We'll go with the black shoes. That's fine. But let's get a top in here that brings us 90s grunge vibes. She's got black lipstick. You know, she's got this cute hairstyle going on. She needs just, let's just not even do Moschino anymore. I know I'm kind of putting it with stuff to like give it a shot, but here we go. Let's pick a different shirt. This one. 
Boom. Hello, Faith. Buffy. Season 3. Love you. Nice to meet you. I think it's a great outfit. I really love this. I'm glad I did it. I think those pants look cute with it. Reminds me of a 90s grunge outfit. Let's do an outfit review or recap. Her everyday. Cute. Love the skirt. Matches her hair. Really great. Here's her formal. I love it. Those heels with that outfit. Moi. Perfection. All right. We've got her athletic. Is this jumpsuit? Like I said, those shoes from Get Famous with socks that are pink for a pop of color. Moschino shirt that is just kind of meh. Not really about it. Faith. Season three from Buffy. Love it. Perfect. She's so cute. It's like my favorite one that I favorite outfit so far that I made with this pack. Bathing suit, kind of basic, but you know, it's from the mosquito pack. We love it. Nothing from the mosquito pack in this, just because. And then her winter outfit, which I think is really cute too. I know what you're thinking. How does mosquito look on a more curvy body? Not necessarily a very skinny one like this one. Well, I have you covered, my friend, because hello, this is. Another sim that I made just to kind of give you a little bit more of a variety on a little bit different of a body. Because a lot of times, high fashion has... Oh, this is cute with the fishnets. Anyways, a lot of times high fashion looks best on just the skinniest of skinnies. And they kind of fall flat whenever you're putting it on a more curvy body. Because they're not really taking into account bust and buttocks and all that stuff. So... Here we go. My mission is to use this skirt. I have accepted this mission and it is my mission. So I'm, the skirt is, dare I say, not super cute. Like I'm not going to see it and go, Ooh, where can I get that in my size? But I'm definitely not going to write it off because I think it can be used. It can look okay. Like I said, it's not going to go on your everyday sim, but maybe you have a sim that's a little eccentric. Or maybe you have a sim that is obsessed with labels and designers, and they just have to have anything Moschino, and they bought the skirt. But this is just me saying, going back and saying, you can look at different options from different packs, from your CC, whatever, to make different things look good. It doesn't have to happen within the Moschino pack. Even that top doesn't look terrible. It looks cute, you know. I decided to go against the fishnet thing because I think that's kind of like playing with the pattern that's already on the skirt. It's kind of like drawing your attention away from it. So we go with just no, no tights. But we're trying different shirts. And this is what I'm saying. It's like, go through, try it with different shirts, see what looks okay, see what doesn't look okay. It's not the end of the world if it doesn't really go that well with something else in the pack or the thing that it seemingly is supposed to go with in the pack. Like this peplum top, it doesn't look too bad with in the white swatch. Again, the, uh, the problem I'm having is that not a lot of the green, not a lot of the colors in the skirt actually match any of the swatches of the other stuff. So the greens, the yellow, the red, the blue, they're not very similar to the other greens, reds, yellows, and blues in the swatches of the other shirts. But I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to find that one, that one thing that just ends up looking adorable or, you know, somewhat bearable. <laughs> but we can do it. I have faith in us, and also because I recorded this before, and I'm voiceovering it. So this is the shirt that I find that I think looks pretty decent with this, because not only does the green swatch match, but the yellow swatch matches, and I end up going with the yellow swatch in the end. Black one doesn't look too bad either. The green one looks really good now that I'm looking at this back again, but I end up going with the yellow because I feel like... The yellow probably doesn't get that much attention. Let's go into here and use these white swatch. This white swatch and the witch shoes. And those are, that's cute. I had, that's a cute outfit. The skirt doesn't look horrendous. It actually looks pretty cute. I'm not hating it. I'm actually liking it. And I think that's good. So I'm on board with it. I made the skirt work, in my opinion. If you agree, 
leave a comment. If you don't agree, leave a comment. I just won't read those ones. <laughs> I'm kidding. So we move on. I like this dress. This is an obvious candidate for her. Um, I think it looks great on her and I accent it with a lot of gold because I think it looks cute and I, and I'm pleased with it. I, I do like it quite a bit. She does a little gold lip. Adorable, right? She's cute. Look at her. Sassy. And then I wanted to use the slick back hair. I didn't use it before and I just wanted to give it a shot. You know, I wanted to give it kind of like this sassy look and you know, I like that jacket. We're pairing it with a more flipped out skirt and the fishnets and some boots, you know, all from different packs, but I think it's looking adorable. And then we can go with some crazy makeup because the slicked back hair means that we can pay more attention to what's on the face, you know. And here are her completed outfits, her everyday, which we made the skirt work in my opinion. There's that cute dress with the gold lip, and I love it. Here's her workout outfit. All Moschino stuff, except for the shoes and the socks, but I mean the sweats and everything. Her nighty outfit, which is Moschino shirt, again, with some sweats. This lovely number, which I, that's one of my favorites, too. The bathing suit and the blue plum bob, because I haven't seen it used in blue. Again, those shorts from Moschino, which I thought were really cute. And then that sweater from the Moschino collection and the boots, the combat boots. I don't do a full look for him. I just wanted to use this jacket, but I wanted to say narrow the shoulders. I think that that really helps make the jacket look less weird and less like an eighties explosion, unless you're into that. Overall, I really enjoyed the Moschino pack. It's not like, oh my God, my mind's blown to my favorite, but I think that it has a lot to offer. And it can create for some really unique Sims storylines, outfit choices. Um, plus, we get to take pictures. Anyways, thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe if you like this video.